Hello everyone. Welcome to Aptitude Jab. This is a caselet which is a number puzzle. It says that there are eight beds numbered one to eight in a general ward of a hospital. There are eight children who are admitted in that ward and uh, they have been admitted for different number of days in no particular order. So the nurse makes an interesting observation that for each of these children, their weight was equal to the product of their bed number and the number of days they have been admitted to the hospital. Okay, and some more information is known about these people. So it is given that each of these children has a distinct weight which is not less than 15 kg and not more than uh, 50 kg. So that is minimum 15 is possible and max 50. So it has to be within this range. Okay, uh, then we are given some more information. But let us first try to make the combination of these number of days with versus bed number. So bed numbers are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, so uh, this is bed number and then we have the number of days and then we will have weight and then we have the children name. Okay, so we'll have to map all these things. Now number of days if we talk about these are among 9, 17, 13, 10, 8, 5 and 12. Okay, in no particular order. Now first thing is uh, minimum 15, maximum 50. So bed number 1, the person should be 17 because uh, all other products give less than 15. So 17 will go here. Okay, so uh, not less than 15 means it should be, it can be greater than equal to 15. Okay, and max 50 means less than equal to 50. So that has to be the range. So this, his weight is 17. Okay, now uh, let us start with extremes. Extremes help us find out things. Uh, now this 8 wala person should be for 5 days because all other will give us more than 50. So this will be a 5 days. So total uh, weight of this person is 40 and then 7 wala will be for 7 days because 7, 7 is 49. Similarly, 6 into 8 is 48. Okay. Now we have to keep certain things in mind that uh, these have distinct weight. Okay. Distinct weight. Now we left with 2, 3, 4, 5. Uh, suppose we go with 5. Uh, 5 can be 9 or 10. Okay, so 9 or 10, that means 45 or 50, right? Uh, 50 is also possible because maximum is not more than 50. So 50 is possible. Then if we look at 4, so this could be 9 or 10. Let us put it on hold. Then if we uh, go to 4, 4 into 9 will be 36. Okay, 4 into 13 will be 52. So 13 is not possible. 4 into 10 will give us 40, which is not possible because 40 is already filled. Okay, 40 is not possible. And 4 into 12 will give us 48, which is also not possible. So the only possible match is 4 into 9. So 4 into 9, this is 36 kgs. Okay, so this 4 and 9 matches. So obviously it will be 5 into 10, which is 50 kg. Okay, so this is a match. Now 13 and 12. So if we take 3, 3 into 12, we will get 36, which is not possible because this person has weight of 36. So this will be 39 and this will be 12, which is 24. So this gives us the weight of all these children. Okay. So one of the questions is what is the total weight in kgs of the eight children? So we could answer this question because for this, we do not need to solve this part. Okay. So this mapping we can add and Fine. So 41, 80, 116, 166, 214, uh, 263, 303. So total comes out to be 303. Okay. All right. Now let us solve for this part also because we can answer one question, but in order to answer others, we have to fill this. Uh, Uday's weight is a perfect square number. Now, perfect square out of these is 36 or 49. Okay, Edwin's weight is an even number and he weighs less than Tanvir. Okay, multiple possibilities. Chetan is not in bed number two. Fine. Rishi weighs the maximum. So this is the Rishi and Omkar the minimum. So two people we have filled. Omkar and Rishi. Uh, the weights of Chetan, Sachin and Tanvir form an arithmetic progression. Chetan, Sachin and Tanvir. Okay. Now, if we see arithmetic progression, 12, uh, 24, uh, 
24 can go with 36 and 48. So one possibility is 24. 36 and 48. Okay. Uh, then we can have 36 cannot go with 39. 3, 3 ka difference nahi ban rahe. 36, 14, not a difference of 4. 39, 14, not a difference of 1. Uh, then if we go on the higher side, 1 is 48, 49, 50, but 50 is already taken. Right. So there is only one possibility of arithmetic progression. So these three we will reserve for these, these three weights will be reserved for Chetan, Sachin and Tanvir. Okay. Now we were saying that Uday's weight is a perfect square. So it cannot be 36. Uday's weight will be 49. Okay. Now Uday is also done. We are left with two more people, 39 and 40. And one is, uh, one statement says uh, Edwin's weight is an even number and he is less than Tanvir. Okay. Now these three people are Chetan, Sachin and Tanvir. Okay, one of them is Edwin. So Edwin has to be one of these and it is an even number. So that means this is Edwin. Okay, and one person left that is Mukul. So Mukul will be 39. And another question also, what is Mukul's weight? That is 39 kg. Now we have Chetan, Sachin and Tanvir. Uh, Chetan is not in bed number 2. Uh, and uh, Edwin weighs less than Tanvir. So Tanvir will weigh 48. Tanvir's weight is 48. Chetan is not in bed number 2. So this will be Chetan and this will be Sachin. So this completes the arrangement of these people finding the, uh, so one part we had already solved that uh, the number of days and weight and now we have solved for the children as well. So now we can answer the remaining two questions also who is admitted on bed number two. Bed number two we have Sachin. If the beds are arranged in a linear order, so let us assume that these are in linear order. Who are the who are admitted next to Rishi? So this is the Rishi. Okay, next to Rishi is uh, Chetan and Tanvir. So this was the solution to the set and the answers to the questions. I hope you like the explanation. So please do like the video.